Following me now, the AFC Women Manager Johnny Jackson. Johnny, with no midweek game, there's been extra time on the training pitch. Do you sense there's that little bit extra raring to go from the players ahead of this one? Yeah, I do actually. Um, you know, we had a uh, we had a disappointing result and performance on uh, last Saturday, so uh, there's a real keenness amongst the group. You know, starting Monday morning that that we had a point to prove this week, and uh, all the boys will know that there's shirts up for grabs. That there's places that. Uh, in the team available, and they've shown they've shown that in the in the way they've gone about their training this week. Nice to have that clear week because um, you know there's lots to be obviously wanted to work on um, coming out of the weekend, and obviously looking forward to to the Barrow game. And you know with the the, the personnel at our disposal and, and the, the likely changes that we'll have to make. Uh, obviously, lots of stuff that we need to work on on the training pitch. That's so been good to have that clear week. So a few players to run through in terms of team news ahead of Saturday. Josh Davis and Alex Pierce. Any update on them? Yeah, both of them guys will be missing on the weekend. Um, they're yeah, going to be yeah out for, out for the next uh, couple of weeks probably with those guys. So obviously a blow. Um, important players for for me and the team in general. But as as ever with these situations presents a, an opportunity and a challenge for for someone else coming into the team to to stake a claim. We've seen on social media as well, Paul Cullen by in a hospital bed. What's his situation? Yeah, so Paul, unfortunately, um, you know, he's, he, he's, he's had a sort of a, a chronic knee issue um, for a while now. Obviously, he was playing with it, he was managing it the best that we could, but um, it became an issue um, too much for him to, 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 to play on. So he's gone and had surgery on that issue. Important for, for him that he gets it cleared up. Uh, ASAP really, so he can attack you know next season, pre-season, uh, with everything he's got and with the issue ongoing in his knee, you know, and unless he went and had his surgery, it could be something that hindered his, you know, his career going forward. So um, yeah, he, he's gone and had that surgery, and again, obviously, a blow to lose him, um, but you know, it's the right thing for the boy to go and do that, and uh, obviously, got to put his health first. Absolutely. Um, D. Elaine Giacini, encouraging signs, him working out there today with Chris McConnell. Yeah, yeah, DJ's back with us. And, you know, he went back to Charlton uh, at the start of his injury to do the early stages of his rehab, but he's back with the group. Um, he's back yeah, with us now, doing outside, doing the, just the final touches to his rehab with, with Chris. So, obviously, great to have him back um, and amongst it, back in with us. And uh, good to see him out on the grass with the boots on and the ball's out. So. Uh, obviously, he's getting much closer now, and, and, and hopefully, we can have him, you know, in the, in the in the squads before too long. We spoke about Lee Brown as well last week. It, it's good to see him out there too. Yeah, yeah, Brownie and, and, and DJ are a really similar path as far as um, the stage they're at with their rehab. So um, yeah, that'll be another important one. And, you know, obviously, this the amount that we've had missing has made it made it very uh, challenging during this during this period. So the, the more that we can get back as soon as possible, the better, obviously. I mean, clearly, you know, you'd love to have Ali Alhamadi and, and Aaron Pierre with you for this weekend. But what does it mean for this club that we're gaining more international recognition? Yeah, I mean, I've spoke about it. It's, for me, it's bittersweet because I'm, I'm delighted for those lads that they get the opportunity to go and represent their country. You know, it's probably the highest honour that you can have in uh, in football. You know, representing um, y your country. So, so great for them. Great for us as a football club to have that representation on on the international scene. So. Um, that's brilliant. The profile that, that that brings is great for, for for those boys and for the football club. But at the same time, obviously, we're missing uh, another two important players for us. And uh, so, you know, from my point of view, on the one hand, I'm really pleased for those boys, and it's a great opportunity. On the other hand, obviously, it's going to be to, to the detriment of the team. So it's it's a bit of sweet one for me. The same be a massive positive having him involved last week. Is he perhaps capable of stepping up any more minutes now? Yeah, we hope so. You know, he come through. It was important that he came through um, the minutes that he did get on the weekend. And, you know, he come on and he gave, gave us a real energy. Um, so yeah, he's obviously he's trained this week. You know, someone that will will look to step up. Mindful that he's been out a long time, and we need to be really, really smart with how we reintegrate into the team. But obviously, you know, he's an important player for us. Another another massive cog that we've had missing. Um, during this period, and was obviously key to to the success that we was having, you know, before before all these injuries uh, hit. Really, so uh, be great, great to have him back out there on Saturday. Probably with the you know the, the real positive, the only real positive to come out of that, and to have him training with a group this week is um, fantastic. 
With so many players, of course, with injuries that we've had, um, what's your message to the younger players in the squad, particularly looking to follow in the footsteps of the likes of Haas and, and Jack Carroll? Yeah, well, I mean, there's opportunities now, isn't there? Um, we've, we've recalled lone boys, you know, you saw Alfie get in some action again on on Saturday, and there's going to be further opportunities with the with the nature of the injury list, and, and obviously the, the international call-ups now means that more than ever, there, there's going to be opportunities for young boys, and you know, there could be debuts on Saturday and it's important that, that these boys are ready to, to step up, take their opportunity. Uh, obviously, like I've always said, you know, given the shirt, opportunity to keep it. Uh, you know, I'm not afraid to give these boys debuts as, as I've shown and I'm not afraid for, to keep them in the team if they do well. So it's fantastic that, that, we get, you know, that this club allows that and that pathway for, for these boys to go and progress into senior football. And, you know, we've shown that if, 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 if you're good enough, don't matter how old you are, what you've done in your career up to, that, up to now, then you'll be given that opportunity. So well, hopefully we'll see, we'll see some boys grab it on Saturday. That's good to hear. Are you able to call back any of the other loanies? Yeah, so um, Doug Fisher will be, will be coming back to the football club, uh, as will uh, Quain Bartley. I think we spoke about that last week. Um, but he's available to, for us. Uh, both of those guys are available uh, this weekend for us. So. You know, we're going to, it's, it's, all, it's all hands to the pump, and we're going to need everyone now. Uh, we've taken the decision to, to bring those boys back because um, there's going to be opportunities. There's going to be opportunities for everyone. You know, with the, the unprecedented situation uh, in the treatment room, you know, we're, it's opportunities for these young ones now to shine. Absolutely, and of course, ahead of an absolutely massive marathon trip that we've got this weekend too, Barra. What's your message to those fans who are making the trip sticking by? Just the uh, support that, we, that we've had up and down the country this year has been remarkable. Um, been absolutely incredible and, and you know what this football club's done brilliantly um, over the years is, is pulled together in, in times of adversity and you know we're on a we're on a tricky challenging run as far as results but you know we, we can see the, that we are absolute bare bones as far as, far as the guys that are available to us so uh, we're going to need everyone uh, and the support you know we spoke about it there could be lads young lads out there making their debut and support that they're going to get on Saturday will be, honestly, it will be invaluable to them to have, you know, travelling supporters um, up there, you know, shouting for, for them and encouraging them and, and getting behind the team and it's brilliant. Um, every time we go away they come in numbers and like you say, it's probably not a, not a harder place to get to in the league than, than Barrow away, but they'll be up there, they'll be supporting and, um, we, you know, we really, really, you know, we always do, but more than ever we want to try and send them home with, with something to shout about. Absolutely. Thanks for your time, Johnny. Cheers.